The standard requires a documented procedure to define requirements for a. Reviewing non-conformities, including customer complaints. b. Determining the causes of non-conformities, often also called root cause analysis. c. Evaluating the need for action to ensure that non-conformities do not recur. d. Defining how action needed is determined and implemented. Including, if appropriate, updating the documentation. E. Defining how the recording of the results of any investigation and action taken is done. F. Defining requirements for reviewing the corrective action taken and its effectiveness. The latter is a typical source for non-conformities in third-party audits. If not all logic system links are effectively functioning. The review of effectiveness often remains a theoretical approach. For example, you may need a direct link to your internal audit program and to the responsible management committee for ensuring decisional traceability in CAPA projects. In addition, the root cause analysis performed by manufacturers is often a weak point. Be aware that you may be able to correct a situation based on an ad hoc cause identification. But you will not be able to design and implement effective corrective action if you do not address the real root cause of a problem. Refer to the GHTF document SG3 N18 2010 Quality Management System Medical Devices Guidance on Corrective Action and Preventive Action and Related QMS Processes for Implementing an Effective CAPA Program. Let us discuss a short case study to illustrate the different steps and the meaning of the wording used by the standard. Imagine you have a labelling line made of a conveyor belt with the following workstations: a label printer printing the label for your finished medical device's outer box, an operator putting the label onto the packaging box of your finished device, a quality control operator that controls the labelling. If batch number is correct, if the label is correct, matching the product type, etc. Now the following situation occurs: the quality control operator detects that certain labels of the batch assessed are the wrong ones related to another batch. He stops it and identifies all the devices as quarantine, non-conforming products. The quality control operator calls his line manager and the quality manager to assess the situation. According to their process, they initiate a CAPA procedure. After an assessment of 100% of the batch of 50 devices, the quality manager, the control operator, and the line manager see that the problem is that five labels out of 50 printed for the batch are wrong. They confirm also that it is only the wrong label. The products are the right ones, and the batch is the right one. They decide to print five new labels that are correct. And to replace the wrong ones, so they can release the batch from quarantine and put it in the final goods store. What do you think? Is this part of the correction of the problem or a corrective action?